Welcome to Quest Trade. In this video, we're going to give you the basics on how to navigate Quest Mobile. You'll be able to trade, look up stocks and ETFs, and see all your account's performance on one screen. The first step is to log into your new app. When you log in, you'll come to a home screen that gives you a high-level look at all your investments. At the top of the page, you'll see a menu which opens additional options and settings for your app. The current account you're viewing. If you have more than one account, by default, you will see them combined. And a search button, which you can use to look up stocks and ETFs. In the top left, you'll see the orange learning mode icon. Tapping this brings up useful tooltips that explain what the terms, charts, and numbers mean. This icon shows up on any page as long as learning mode is enabled, so more information is always a tap away. In the center of the page, you will see the total equity of your accounts. This is the combined value of your cash and positions in your account. Just below, you will see the increase or decrease in equity. Remember, this will include deposits and withdrawals, as well as gains and losses. If you have multiple accounts, you can navigate between individual accounts by swiping left and right. Next, you'll see a chart showing your total equity over time. You can tap and hold anywhere on this chart to see your balance at any given point. In the lower right of the chart, you can see the time frame. This shows six months by default, but you can change it by tapping and selecting a new time frame. The home screen will also show you a series of shortcut buttons beneath the chart. These buttons will change depending on which accounts are being displayed, but will be some combination of the following. A buy sell button. Tapping this allows you to search for a stock or ETF you are interested in buying. A move money button that lets you deposit money or make a withdrawal. A watch list button that takes you to your custom watch lists. A news button which takes you to a page where you can read recent news relating to your stocks or the market in general. Below, you will see your account holdings area. If you have a Quest Wealth portfolio, it will also show up here as active portfolio. First, you will see a summary of the different balances in your account. For a self-directed account, you'll see your market value, which is the current value of all the positions you currently have in the account. Buying power, which is the total amount of money available to trade. Open P&L, which shows the total profit and loss on the shares that you currently hold. And today's P&L shows the change in value of your investments during the current trading day, or from the last trading day if the markets are closed. Next, you'll continue to the positions in your account. Please note that the securities shown in this video are for illustrative purposes only. In this area, you'll first see a toggle between position value and symbol price. These will change the information shown about your positions. Position value will show you the total value of the shares you hold according to the current market price, the amount of shares you own, and your profit or loss at the current price. Symbol price shows the current market value of the symbol, the average price you paid, and the price change from the current trading day. If you have any open orders that have not been filled, they will also appear here. Further down, you will see a transaction history detailing transactions across all your accounts. This includes deposits, withdrawals, trades, dividend payouts, and more. From this screen, you can scroll left and right to see your recent transactions, or hit See All to go to the Transaction History screen. A markets area is found near the bottom. This features a few of the major market indices to give you a sense of how the market is performing as a whole. We hope you found this video helpful. To learn more about our Quest Mobile app, please head over to our YouTube channel.